Good afternoon everyone and welcome to a new video on the channel. It is Tuesday the 18th of January 2022 and tonight we're off back to the International Stadium. It is Gateshead versus AFC Telford United in the National League North. So here I'm in Gateshead going into this game where still second in the table after beating Hereford at the weekend while Telford are currently rock bottom, 22nd place, uh, currently five points adrift, although they have had a bit of a, a bit of a layoff of late because of, of, of COVID within within the club. Um, so it'll be interesting to see tonight, will uh, will it be fresh as a result of that or will they've lost that bit of match sharpness? So it'll be very interesting to find out. But one thing that is for certain is we can't go into this being naive thinking we'll just roll them over no problem because of the because of the gap in the table and because of the, the points gap as well uh, we've got to be professional about this because over the years this has been the sort of game where we've been pretty renowned for for slipping up in her uh, thing back to North Therapy in the 2016-17 season Braintree 2018-19 and uh, Blythe in the 2019-20 season so our track record against in games like this isn't the best but well, fingers crossed times really are changing and we can we can get that we can get a very important win tonight as first of two home games this week if we if we are deadly serious about promotion then really we need to be getting six points from them against obviously tonight against bottom of the table and on Saturday against the team sort of loitering a bit in mid-table but anyway let's get down to the international stadium and find out how it all unfolds right so Gate said I'm uh, just getting ready down there uh, no sign of Telford just yet right here come Telford out to Ormo Come on! 
Half time, Gates said two, AFC Telford United one. I mean, it was an awful start, wasn't it? It really looked a bit sort of disjointed, but since then we've sort of gradually found our, our mojo. Uh, I think it all sort of started when uh, Paul Blackett uh, was a bit unlucky with hitting the post and it sort of rolling across the line, and then uh, had a couple of chances after that. Um, uh, Adam Campbell with a shot well saved by Griffiths and someone else had a shot as well I can't remember who it was but that was an even better save by, by Griffiths uh, what, once like he's clearly learned that on Motherwell hasn't he like um, but you know we've, we have been sort of getting better and better as this as this game's gone on and fingers crossed that does sort of continue in the second half because because uh, yeah it's like it'd, it'd be nice to get back to winning ways on, on our own ground obviously have it after losing the last home game so we'll just have to see but there's no doubt about it Telford are fighting really hard here um, at the back for us tonight it, like, it doesn't seem it's not been as sort of good as it maybe was at Hereford but you know uh, I'd say so far there's quite a lot we're doing right but there's definitely things we can improve on as well anyway on to the second half come on guys so. Right in the stanchion. Oh, oh. Yes! 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 Three minutes of added time at the end of this game. Chat with the channel, what do you think of that? Uh, it was a good game. Uh, glad that we're top of the league now. Uh, let's just hope we're doing good like 
off uh, balance and go down. Let's just hope it just stay up and let's just hope uh, uh, get promotion of the uh, no, National no. League. No, I think it's crossed up in Saturday, right? getting uh, a win on Saturday. Uh, exactly, uh, uh, let's just hope it stay up and uh, qualify for the National League and then go to the League 2. So, <laughs> yeah. Forward uh, thinking, but there you go. Cheers, exactly. cheers, mate. Full time gates at four, AFC Telford United one. And with that, we have gone top of the league. Um, of course, we're only, we've only played 50% of our matches, but all the same, it still feels pretty good to say that and pretty good to look at as well. Um, I mean, whether it lasts or not, we'll, we'll find out sort of over the next next few months, won't we? But, but for now, it's, it certainly does feel good. And there was the added bonus tonight that Hereford beat Kidderminster. So, that's, so if the teams around us are getting beat, then that's only a good thing as well. But anyway, we, we can only concentrate on, on ourselves and uh, at the minute and... What what we do um, and tonight I thought yeah we sort of did everything we needed to really obviously it was a terrible start um, and uh, you're sort of thinking at, at that point when Telford went one nil up after about a minute um, you're starting to think it was going to be North Ferriby in 2016 all over again and, and things like that but thankfully uh, we really started to like once we've woken up we really sort of got at them and had sort of no answer for it really uh obviously we had a couple of chances where i could have could have drawn level uh obviously as i mentioned at half time blackett hitting the post uh campbell's shot from shot from range uh shortly after that uh but eventually eventually we did a uh, nice finish into the corner from uh kedwin scott then uh, Paul Blackett, right place, right time to give us the lead at half time. And in the second half, uh, Blackett uh, getting another goal and uh, Maka coming off coming off the bench to to get a goal as well. So good night all round for for the strikers, wasn't it? Um, yeah, uh, I think like for Telford, you can, you can see why they're struggling. Um, like that's just I don't know what it's about the team. It's just so something maybe just isn't a clicking for them. I don't know. I mean, they've, they've got a chance staying up. I mean, they've, I think they've got the players within the squad to to pull it off. And I think before they played us tonight, they've had a couple of respectable draws. So it's just about whether they can start beating the beating the, beating the other teams in in the relegation fight or not. Um, yeah, it's, it's uh, yeah, all, all in all, very good night. And fingers crossed, we can. Carry that forward into Saturday against Leamington. But anyway, that is that for this video. I'll be back tomorrow. Uh, firstly, with two videos tomorrow, actually. Firstly, um, at some point during the day, it will be the result of December goal of the month. Then tomorrow night, it, it'll, it will be uh, Billingham Sonthonia versus West Auckland Town in the Durham Challenge Cup. So... Looking forward to bringing all that to you. Until then, take care and I will see you later. We are top of the league, said we are top of the league.